Well, fair, give us a, an indication as to the disappointment you felt on, on Tuesday night and why do you think it happened? First of all, it's a big, big disappointment. Um, this was a tough night. Uh, but, uh, you know, I've been in the game for a while, so I know sometimes you lose, sometimes you win. Um, it's a derby, it's different, obviously. But I think that we are in good place at the moment, and obviously it was a bad, bad result for us, but we should take the good things from it and keep going, because we have big, big targets ahead of us. Um, and I think the gaffer said the good thing about it, like if we had if we need the extra motivation for the semi, I think we got it here. So if you want to look at the positive side of it, Harry, here we go. Do you need to establish what went wrong though to move forward to ensure that it doesn't happen again? Yeah, of course. I think, you know, we never question about the approach of the players. I think obviously if you go to the derby, you want to win. Um, I think we 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 struggle to 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 play our usual game um, the conditions and they to be fair they did well they did well they press us high they uh, and they make it hard for us and we couldn't find the solutions during the game we couldn't manage the game well and I think that hurt us but. Again, I'm positive. I think we can take the we can learn for that and take it forward and be better. Four games to go before the split. Four very big <coughs> games now, and if you want to try and secure the top six place, although you've got a little bit of a, a gap between yourself and the third spot. Yeah, of course, every game is important now. Uh, I think our target stays the same. We want to finish high as possible, and we ne we need points for that. Everyone knows that, so. But I think we need to, to break it for games and now we have a massive game on Saturday. We, we are ready for it and that's the most important thing. And hopefully to, we're going to Aberdeen and try to make the best as we can and to get as much points as we can for this game. What have you been told about the national team and the coronavirus situation back home? Uh, I think it's the same at the moment at Scotland. Uh, obviously, there is a bit of increasing cases in the last days, so uh, uh, they try to um, minimize it with uh, big events and that, so they cancel a few games in the last uh, days. S few sports events as well, just not, not just football. And um, obviously, it's not optim You know, it's not ideal, but uh, you know we should deal with it and. Obviously, I hope it will settle till then. There's a suggestions that the head coach might not be able to go to Israel because he's based in Austria. And do you think that might affect your planning? Is it, have you heard of any change to, uh, plans to change your, your preparations for the Scotland game? Obviously, I just from the local media I just uh, saw that he's, uh, he's going to be back to Israel. And obviously, uh, it will not affect our uh, preparation for the game. In terms of, I mean, you also had to come to Hamden. There's suggestions that if the, the virus is to spread much worse than it is this now, that the, the game might be played behind closed doors. Might, might that, might that help, help you guys? <laughs> I think you know. First thing, football is for the fans. You know, when you play, in, even if it's going to be against us, I think it's still good for for the sake of the game to play with with fans. And I think it's that's why we play football in the highest level for that. Uh, but again, we, we, you know, I'm not the guy to to answer those questions. I'm just, from my point of view, I just want to first of all focus on my hips targets now, and then think about uh, the national team.